This is the Delta Force Mini Sniper, alright? Um, I built this boat basically from the ground up. I got a full series, full build series on this boat. I uh, just put these large turn fins on it. It's got external water pickups running a fly color 90 amp ESC with a 2868 rocket motor. 4000 kV. This little boat will do 55 like it is. 55, 23 inch little sniper, 55 mile an hour boat. Uh, last video I did with it, I was bashing it with this 42 millimeter prop, propping some willies, you know? So, uh, what, what do we do on Ironclad RC? And I actually promised you guys that I would overpower this boat. So let's do it, let's do it. Let's put this 3665 Turnergy motor in. All right, 2100 KV, running on 6S. That's what I set the boat up for. I run. I set the boat up so I can run a, a 3S pack here, a 3S pack here with the with the ESC down in the bottom. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to overpower, overpower pig, huh? <laughs> I like little boats, and I just can't lie. This collet uncoupled here. All right, let's get the collet uncoupled. Take the flex cable out. All right. Um, I should be able to just leave this collet on there because I'm running a, a, a 150 shaft on most all of my boats. That's why I do that, so I can just switch motors out. Um, I like these motor mounts because you can loosen these up. Alright, you can just loosen them up a little bit. Tip the motor back. It makes it easy to get your, your head bolts out, your head screws out for the motor. See? You tip it back. Boom. All right. Now you can put your flex driver in. All right, and what I did, I grinded one of my bits in half. All right, that way, a little bit more compact. I did it just for this boat. Now I can put my flex driver in. If you don't have one of these flex drivers and you're into, into boat and hobby, I suggest getting one. Harbor Freight, get one for $7. Boom, look at that. All right, once you break it free, boom, huh? Remove a motor in no time, all right? Sometimes it's a little bit of a, a pain in the butt to get your flex driver in there, but it's quicker and easier than using an Allen wrench. You see that? Boom. Huh. D U N D. Look at that. Huh. <laughs> Boom. Oh, she's actually doing good. Oh, a 360 flip. This mount right here. I can slide this ESC back and forth. All right, I use Velcro on my ESC. Okay, all right, I can move my ESC down to this position. All right, I got a battery strap, battery tray here, battery tray here, and I put my ESC on the bottom, but down there, I can run 6S in the boat, double batteries, all right. This boat, I built this boat for versatility. Okay, I built this boat for versatility. It's Custom battery trays, all right, but it's versatile, and and I, I need. A, I, I'm gonna put a, I'm gonna put a, a Velcro strap right here, like right now. I'm about to. That way, I could just. I ain't gotta worry about zip ties. I could just Velcro, uh, battery. You know, boom, done. Move my ESC anywhere I want to in the boat. I've got it so I, you know, little, the hoses are a little longer. I can move it anywhere. Slide it back and forth, side to side. Put it on this side, put it on this side, I can put it on that side, and, and, and just mess around with weight distribution. This boat is built for versatility, all right? I've got the motor mount, water-cooled motor mount. I can put an outrunner motor in this boat anytime, you know, small motors, big motors. That's the reason why I went with the external water pickups opposed to a water-cooled rudder, all right? Versatility. I can change rudders out. I can put different rudder blades on the boat. It's versatile, okay? I can I can tune this boat. I can test different rudder shapes, rudder rudder, rudder sizes or lengths, um, thicknesses, knife edge. I've got videos about rudder blade testing in past videos, but this boat is set up to be versatile and to be tuned. Any any way you look at it, any way you look at this boat, it's tunable. Any way you look at it, everywhere on this boat, it's tunable. Everywhere everywhere i put a lot of thought into the design and setup of this boat and that's the reason i did this boat like i did i can i could try a big block in it i could throw an outrunner motor in it i could put 6s in it i could run single 6s with the esc on the other side esc in the middle i could put my battery on the esc tray right here and run a big fat battery in the bottom of the boat 
for for like ballast this boat is built for versatility okay and i show you guys how to do it in in past videos all right so uh let's throw the big block in it sorry about jacking my jaws sorry about jacking my jaws i'm excited about the big block all right so uh, i'm gonna throw it in there i'm not gonna bore you guys anymore all right and uh, i'll see you guys at the lake all right so it fit in there boom 10 pounds of shit in a three pound bag All right, I got 6S in her, okay? <laughs> I build these boats to run. I don't build my boats to put on a shelf and look at. I build these boats to run, all right? I build them to run. So let's run it. Let's run it. Jeez, it about sinks in the water. It's almost half sunk. I build my boats to run. Oh! Oh my gosh! Get out of the way, ducks. Get out of the way, ducks. Build my boats to run, y'all. It might not be pretty, but I try it. You gotta try it. You never know until you try it. Oh, she's actually doing good. Oh, a 360 flip. I build my boats to run. <laughs> oh man, it's got just as much power as it did with the 4S, with a 4S battery in that rocket motor. I swear. Yep, just as much power as with that 2868 on 4S 100C. It's got just as much power. Just as much power. Oh, maybe it's got a little bit more. <laughs> all right, let's do it from a standstill. All right, you ready? <laughs> Propping willies. <laughs> yeah. yeah, it's too much power. It's too heavy. Way too heavy. I could say I did it, though, you know? Yeah, she's got too much power. Oh man, it's fun though. And it's actually balanced out pretty good. That's full trigger right there. It's just as much power as with that 4S 100C pack and the rocket motor, you know? I like little boats and I just can't lie. <laughs> I was catching it all in the video. It's actually balanced out pretty good, man. The versatility of this setup. Is, is awesome you guys you can you know you can move your batteries back and forth your ESC oh and it landed it your batteries back and forth your ESC back and forth you know I build my boats to run I don't build one specific setup I build them to run I got 438 on there oh there went my battery oh popping willy <laughs> yeah. All right, let me bring it in before I burn my batteries up. Those uh, turn fins are nice on this boat, y'all. Oh, man, she ran good. She ran good on 6S. She ran good on 6S, son. Huh? <laughs> I might throw this 100C4S pack in it real quick in this Delta Force. All right, let's, uh, let's check the temps real quick on 6S with that Turnergy motor. I build my boats to run. I don't build them sit around and look at Jeez. look i mean they got scars they got battle scars Learn how to fix these things you can have fun with them build it how you want it you know this boat right here is fully tunable fully tunable how many how many people can say that their boat's fully tunable you know fully tun tunable like 100 percent fully tunable there ain't many boats out there like that. There ain't, no, there ain't many boats built like this one. I guarantee you that. I guarantee you that. And I'm not just to tooting my horn. I'm just telling you that this, this thing's set up to where you can, you can, you can, it's, it's adjustable. It's tunable. Let's check the temp. Let me quit jacking my jaws here. 83 on the motor. 106 on the ESC. 102 on the ESC. I think I'm about to put a cat pack on that ESC. Uh, Vinny, 
Vinny, I appreciate it, brother. Vinny's got a couple of custom cat packs coming from California. So uh, we're going to put a cat pack on here, all right, um, and on this guy here. So, yeah, 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 yeah. Um, I appreciate you guys watching. I just wanted to put 6S in it. I might, uh, yeah, let's, uh, let's try it on 4S. Why not? I appreciate you guys watching, though. I appreciate you guys watching my videos, you know. I try to teach you guys. I try to teach a little bit, you know. I try to have some fun. We'll, we'll, we'll be in the shop for a couple days, and then I'll come out and run the boats for a week or two, and then we'll we'll have another project on the bench. You know, I'm about to start that that mini hydroplane build, the 120 Atlas Vans, and uh, that video will be coming out soon. All right, so let's see if we can fit this bad boy in there. Might, might as well while we're out here. It's going to be a long video now if I run this big battery. Nice. This boat's so tunable, man. It runs, it runs harder with that 2868, y'all. It runs harder with that 2868. I ain't even kidding. Look at that cut, son. No skip. No skip. Oh, well, skip that time. Yeah, and these turn fins, see, I can run these turn fins higher up in the water because of their shape. You know, they're wider, and they hit the water sooner than, than the, the skinny, long turn fins. So um, keep that in mind when you guys are picking turn fins out for your boat, and it's got like a deep V style, style hull. Man, she's running good. A lot of chine walk, man. So heavy in the back too, man. So I want to get, I want to get a, I want to get a, a eighth prop shaft for this boat and run some 32, 33, 34 millimeter props on it. Prop a Willie. I like little boats and I just can't lie. Oh, almost hit the damn Christmas tree. Oh, almost hit it again. I gotta get some glasses on. Oh, I hit that little wake. <laughs> Good running a little boat right here, y'all. Full trigger. I'm gonna go full trigger in a turn. Oh, I definitely I like it better with that 2868, y'all. It, it, it runs better. It's lighter with that 2868 on 4S. It's lighter. Uh, you, you don't always have to put the biggest motor, biggest batteries in your freaking boat, y'all. A small motor with the right KV and right power setup will, will run a boat harder and faster than a heavy, a heavy boat with heavy, big, fat, heavy motors and batteries in it. You know what I'm saying? It's just a physics you know Woo! now hit the tree see she won't even prop a wheelie now 
Yeah, see, and that's a low KV motor. There we go. Got a little willy that time. Get your ass. Oh, we flipped it. All right. All right. Enough fun. So, uh, so yeah, yeah. Thanks for watching. Big B. With Ironclad RC. Channel over Tinker Test and Tune. Everything RC. We'll see you guys next time.